my video game with everybody. For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Andrew Forbes, I'm um, in year two. And the idea behind tonight is for you to get to know us, for us to explain to you what, your voice can, what you can expect your voice to be doing this year, and hopefully to answer any questions and also to help any fears or anxieties you may have, which you don't need to have at this stage. Um, first of all, I'd like to introduce you to our team. We have Miss Davidson in 2D, Mrs. Thompson in 2T, myself in 2F, and we have two lovely teaching assistants, Mrs. Jennings and Mrs. Tyler. Um, we have specialist teachers as well who will be working with your boys this year, Mr. Shaw, I'm sure everybody knows. Uh, we have a new French teacher, and we have uh, Mrs. Vincent who will be doing our music as she did last year. Um, what's really special about this year is um, both our teaching assistants, Mrs. Jennings and Mrs. Tyler, are actually fully qualified teachers. So we really do have a lot of education and experience between the five of us. Um, the next thing I'd like to go, and go on to talk about is our daily routine. And um, some of our boys are already getting into the daily routine. And um, I think as soon as we are into a, a routine, both the parents and the boys and the teachers all have a much more s smooth running day. Um, we haven't sent out any timetables yet, and that is because we can only finalise them by the end of this week. So once we've had a Monday, we know that Monday works well, we don't need to change anything, and so on and so on. So those should be coming home to you on Friday, and they'll be very clearly marked what homework's on which day, and um, what days they need to come in, in PE kit, and what days they need to come in uniform. At the moment, we are relying on the boys to tell you what they need to wear each day, and um, it has been interesting, but I know, in my, <laughs> I know in my class most of the boys are getting it right, and, um, and if they don't, they soon come upstairs and get changed very quickly. So this week it will be all um, up and down, and we will be finding our way together with the boys and with you, so please don't panic if they do PE in their uniform, it's really not the end of the world this week. Um, year two boys need to be able to come up the stairs by themselves. You are welcome to visit us, and there's a very key word, sometimes. <laughs> and it's not because we don't want to see you, but um, due to the nature of the school, and I'm sure most of you have been up there at least once, it is like a bottleneck, and with all the boys trying to go up with bags and, um, and, and all the little things that they seem to need to bring to school every day, it can be a, a traffic jam, and it just, it just becomes pretty difficult. And also, we use the time between half past eight and nine o'clock to register the boys. They normally have an activity. And nine times out of ten, we'll be listening to them read. So we are quite busy up there. But if you need to come up and see us, it's something that very pertinent that we know straight away. Please do come and see us. Um, just some of the, the, the routine for the week. On a Monday, we have a spelling test, so your boys will need to learn their words over the weekend. Um, we don't generally accept the excuse that uh, we had too many play dates or didn't have time to do this or. The boys do need to get into the routine and know that they need to learn their spellings. They get their spellings at least a week in advance, so they should be doing it a little bit each day. So um, the most ideal situation is for the parents to either copy down the words and keep them stuck on the French so the boys have regular access to them, because the book does come back to us and we do mark it. So you can work out your own system with your child, as long as they've got a copy to learn over the weekend. But they, they will come home on a Friday as well. What's quite different from year one is the homework needs to be returned for the next day. And we are quite strict with this because they do have homework every single day and we don't want um, Monday <coughs> homework running into Tuesday, running into Wednesday, and they just seem to get a backlog. And your little boys themselves will get themselves in, in a little bit of a tiz if, if they, they ask for extensions and that type of thing. We, we, we do like the work to go home that night and come back the next morning. And again, it's all about routine because the boys should be able to walk in within the next couple of days, certainly in the next week, and just hand in the homework, and hopefully it will be quite smooth running. Um, the gym bags, we, we, we do have different systems for different classes. Uh, 2D and 2T have their gym bags stored in the lockers outside, so the boys need to put them in there before they come up the stairs in the morning. Um, 2F, I do have space in my classroom, and my boys bring them, them up and we keep them in the classroom. Wednesday, 8.30 is choir, and all the year two boys go to choir. So if you can get your child to school, um, close as possible at 8.30, actually on every day would be best, but especially on a, on, a, on a Wednesday, because there's nothing more disruptive than trying to teach a boys song, but half in, half out. But we do understand that there's traffic, and there are people, but lots of your other children at different schools. So it, it, it's just a, 
a suggestion at this stage. Um, games are after lunch on a Friday, and it is really a time that the boys do look forward to, and we take them off site and we bring them back. But it, um, you will be most of you are familiar that we are back by three thirty and the children need to go home. Um, I think that's it on routine. Um, reading and reading books. Um, in year one, they use the Oxford Reading Tree. In year two, because they're big boys, we're now starting to move on to chapter books, shorter stories. So we actually don't do an, a, a single reading scheme. Um, we, we put them in different levels that we've got upstairs and in, in different boxes. We guide them to a selection of books initially, and then we'll give them the opportunity to choose a book themselves, because I think it's quite good for them, for their independence, to start choosing books that they want to read. Because sometimes, it's at, at year two level, the boys start to get very confident that they're reading, and some of them don't want to read. And if they're choosing a book that they know that they will enjoy, then hopefully the reading will be done at home. So that's how we work it um, in year two. We do do group, group, group reading at school, so um, it, it depends on, on, on the week and if it's busy or, or but it will be done at school um, where they'll be reading um, the same book. We'll do it as a class or we might do it with five boys and it just depends <coughs> how um, Mrs. Thompson is talking about and want to do it within our own classes. Um, the main focus for um, reading is the comprehension, the understanding of what they're reading. It's okay if the boys read 10 pages and, and, and then you go, well, what did you read? You actually have to ask them questions because it's fine if the fluency is there, but if the comprehension and the understanding is not there, then we have to relook and possibly choose a book that's slightly easier for them to read. We will be reading, hopefully the boys will be reading to us at least um, twice a week, either to um, the TAs or the teachers. Um, but at home, it's really, really important that you hear them read. And, and you try and, and you ask them questions and they try and understand it at home. Um, reading, we, we, we want them to read at least between 10 to 15 minutes at home. Um, they're reading every day anyway. At school. They're reading the instruction of an activity. So they are reading at school, but I just think that special 10 to 15 minutes of an actual reading book is very important um, for them to do at home. Um, and again, their reading uh, books will be um, give, given to us and we'll change their books when necessary, so when they're finished, um, and they'll change it, etc. Um, so that's all to do with the reading. Um, we are going to be listening to, we haven't sent reading books home. By Wednesday, we should, it should be all up and running, so between tomorrow and Wednesday, the book, the, the book should be sent home, um, and th then you can start the reading for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, English. Uh, pardon me. Yes. I'm a, do you want us to log the reading or anything at home? In, you'll get a reading um, record book. Okay. You can just log it in there, yes. Okay. It will be with the actual reading book. Okay. And that's different to the message book. The message book, you write the messages in. The reading book, you just write. You can write a little comment or just write what page they're on. Yeah, and just sign it. And then we'll do the same. The tears will do the same. The teachers will do the same. And we'll be sent home. And moving on to English, um, we're looking at spelling, grammar, comprehension, and creative writing. Spelling, we have two lessons on a Monday. We will go through the spelling list with them. Um, we will be putting them into spelling groups, um, similar to how they did it in year one. Um, and that will be from next Monday, where um, Mr. Forbes, Mrs. Thompson, and I will have diff various different groups, different rules, so they'll be sent home um, different spelling lists. Um, on the Monday. Um, then we have two lessons of grammar, two lessons of comprehension, and four lessons of creative writing. The reason being is creative writing is, our, is a main focus for us um, this term. Obviously all the other English subjects are too, but we want, we, we're trying to put all the grammar concepts that, that we're teaching them into their story writing, um, reminding them about the beginning, middle and end, making it more interesting, more detailed, so there's a whole lot that we have to work work on with them um, on creative writing, like the story mountain, putting in characters, names of characters, um, punctuation, that type of thing. So that's why we have four lessons, two double lessons. Um, comprehension, we'll be looking at, that, that's obviously reading a story and answering questions. 
Again, there will be grammar, concepts in there, capital letters, full stops, full sentences, spelling. So they all tie in together, all the, all the English subjects tie in together. Um, and then joined up handwriting. I know the boys started in year one. Some of them a little bit better than others. Um, that's all still work in progress. So as much, uh, I think as much as possible we want them to join up handwriting. Yeah. They won't, it might not be 100% from the beginning, but I think if they continue working at it and practice, 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 I think it will, it will be perfect, hopefully, by the end of year two. Um, but so for the homework and those types of things, that they can start write, writing their names and join up handwriting as much as possible. Obviously in our handwriting lesson, we do teach um, the joined up handwriting and the joins, but there's, we can't do every single join in the first handwriting lesson, so we'll be doing it throughout the term. Um, but if you can just emphasize that they try and do it as much as possible, join up handwriting. So a lot of it's this will build upon their knowledge that they've, they've gained in year one. And a very important part of, of year two is obviously the differentiation within the, each <coughs> topic we do. So we will differentiate so that we can challenge and support your son as where he is at. And um, we, are very, um, we are very grateful. We've got a great TA, so they'll also be supporting the boys who need a little bit of extra support. Um, and we've also got so, um, Mrs. Cavalieri, our sink, and we also support the boys who need a little bit of extra help with their number work. Um, addition with carrying, I will be sending, when we send this for homework, I will give you a little guideline on how we do it at, at school. So you've got an idea on how to explain it if your son is struggling with, the, with that concept. Um, most of the homework that goes home should consolidation so that we would have covered it for the week so it should be kind of just revision so if you do have to reteach it please make a note and let us know so that we can go back over that concept um, the same with the rest to the subtraction with borrowing which is the, the tougher one of the two um, but all those kind of things will guide you when it goes home for homework will give you a bit more guidance on how to help with it if he needs a little bit of extra input Times table is very important. In year one, they focus a lot on the number bonds, and now we're moving on to the times tables. It'll also be very differentiated. We'll be testing your sons and seeing where they're at, whether they need to move on to the next times tables. We'll be quite firm, they'll have to get close to 100%.